Rebounding is easily one of the most underrated skills in the game, especially for guards. If you can grab even a few more boards per game, think about how many opportunities it can open up for you. Maybe an offensive rebound into a bucket, a couple defensive boards to start a push and transition, and then a few more big possessions for your team. That can change a lot. And here's the thing, you don't necessarily have to be athletic or tall to do so. Will you ever average 10 rebounds per game? Maybe, I'd say probably not if you're a shorter guard, but using these techniques in this video will make a massive difference. Let's get to it. All right, so first off, it's important to understand that oftentimes, the person who touches the ball first won't end up with it. These tip outs are super common and being ready for those is huge. In fact, as a guard, which is most of us watching, if we're being realistic, the majority of your boards, I'd say, are probably gonna be on tip outs and long rebounds. So it's not only about going vertical to get the ball, but also positioning yourself and then being able to accelerate to that spot as fast as you can. Also realize that on these perimeter shots, while the ball is in the air, you actually have time to look around you and this gives you the best idea possible of where everyone's at and who to put a body on, if anyone. And then speaking of this in terms of boxing out, if you have to sprint in from deep on the perimeter, it may be smarter for you to just monitor for a long rebound. But if you're in a collapsed help position like this, that's not only your opportunity, but your obligation to get a body on someone. This doesn't have to be a perfect box out, but just stopping somebody's momentum, creating some sort of contact. And in my opinion, it's actually better to face up to them first and then turn, because it's gonna be easier for you to stay in front versus trying to stay in front with your back turned to them. Also, try a bit to anticipate, especially once you get good at this. This goes for offensive and defensive rebounding. If you watch here as the ball is in the air, he's making an adjustment because he's predicting where it'll go. How does he do this? It seems crazy. I'd say most of you guys could develop a really good knack for this just by rebounding for people more and shooting drills, whatever. Trust me, I've rebounded millions of shots in my time as a trainer, and now I can predict damn near any shot and where it's going. Then the next step is having good ball skills being able to time it up to meet the ball at the top of your jump, being able to reach for the rebound, catch it in weird positions, and then land safely in the midst of chaos. This is gonna make you much more confident going for any board, no matter the situation. And then most importantly, just be part of the mix. It's almost like a karma thing, I feel like. If your first instinct when seeing a shot go up is to find the board, or at least positioning for the board, it just seems like those rebounds are gonna come your way more often. Just be in the vicinity, be ready for it, even if you don't crash crazy hard. It'll come back to you big time. Like this ball literally just rolls to him and it's because he's in close and ready for it. So that's an easy board. Imagine if these guys gave up on the play instead. So now let's talk about a few strategies that are specific to offensive boards. First off, most times when a teammate of yours shoots, what does your man do if you're on the perimeter? They stand there and watch it pretty much every time. So if you're ready for these opportunities, especially when a teammate of yours is shooting, it can get you a lot of offensive board. Now, I'm not a huge fan of following your own perimeter jumpers unless you have an easy opportunity, but I am a fan of aggressively going for the ball after a missed close shot, as long as you do it in control, simply because your defender just contested that shot, so they're often out of position. They're not even thinking about you getting a board. And just like defensive boards, you gotta put yourself in place to get lucky. Of course, if you have to get back, get back. We never wanna sell out as a guard to let a fast break open up, but positioning yourself in a place where a long rebound can come on a three-pointer while keeping tabs on any leak outs is an easy way to assure a few long offensive rebounds here and there. Even kind of shake that opponent who may be trying to box out. And this is one of the only times in basketball where you're really trying to shake a defender who doesn't have the ball. So I can always tell the players who played American football literally just by how they act like a receiver running a route or like a running back trying to juke out a linebacker. So if you get good at these quick shake moves, you can probably free yourself up for a few offensive rebounds. Then in terms of more opportunities, definitely be ready in transition. This is so chaotic that so often, Defenders are way out of place. Maybe they're not back, so you have an advantage. Or maybe they just expect your teammate to make that shot and they miss it. Be a step ahead here. Always prepare to go after these transition boards. And I think more often than we realize, whether it's transition, whether it's in the half court, whenever, players just fall asleep more often than you think. Obviously, defensively, we don't want to be this guy, but offensively, take advantage of it. Don't give up on plays. Watch for when your defender is going to fall asleep and you have an opportunity to go get a board. Again, if you have this mindset, and I can't emphasize this enough, it's gonna help you out big time in the long term. And then I think the last part of the equation is just being ready to make a play out of this. This is the perfect time in the midst of chaos to find a quick driving lane or use your momentum to score around the rim. Shoot a quick jumper yourself. Maybe find an open teammate who's open on the perimeter. Everybody's crashed in, 
So this is a really easy time to get open threes. Maybe you set up a quick hitter on offense after a long rebound. Take advantage of these chaotic situations. That board is, yes, a great extra possession, but it's also a great opportunity to get a bucket. So I hope you guys took something from this video. These are mostly things that, yes, you can work on. It's a lot of mindset stuff. It's just being ready for these opportunities. Let me know how you're able to apply these things. As always, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure to check out the Instagram at By Any Means Basketball, our virtual academy programs, which are the most comprehensive training programs you'll find, as well as our global camps that we'll be traveling all around the world to do this year. Much love. Until next time.